Hi everyone over there. So here I am again with my prototype of that Daiduino. As you see, I have made it smaller with all the electronics pretty tied to each other. The size right now of the board is around 3 inches by 2 inches. So it's not that bad for all the electronics to be around there. But I have other plans to make it even smaller. So well, for the moment, let me introduce you guys to what is our screen. We have a small OLED screen that is about an inch. Here we have our display for the temperature, our depth, our max depth, our die time, and our actual scale on the screen. Here is my battery that, I'm, that I am planning to use. Right now I'm powering everything with it. I, two AAA batteries just to debug it and make my test that I need. On the other side, let's see what we have. So here I put all our components, our microcontroller, there is an Arduino Pro Mini on the 3.3 volt version. Here we have our real time clock, there is the chrono dot. And here we have what is the open lock platform that is pretty easy to use to lock everything on text files. And you just save everything on an SD card that I have here. And as you see here, this is an 8 gigabyte SD card, so plenty of storage over there. The storage will be no issue, and remember, no your cables from the manufacturers and you can do your own with all the information and plot it whatever you want so let's turn it on again so you can see the startup so thank you to Adafruit for the libraries and the display of and these components so right now I have the sensor on the other side of the case is here all the cables like that so right now yes it's not the best design but it works so I'm going to start to manipulate the sensor to show you how it changes As you may notice, since we started, the dive time has not increased. Why? Because the dive Duino will just activate when the depth is below two feet. I just have to press harder to change. Right now it's working at, at a sampling rate of every three seconds. It's saving something to the micro SD card. And I've been following some suggestions from, from people on a scuba board and I may actually change the code and just record whenever there is a change on your depth or, your, or on your temperature. That's what I'm going to program. I've made some tests on the micro SD card and I can assure you that it has a lot of power. Why? because the open lock platform drains a little bit power i know but i could record what it's about 4500 rows of data so that's i think a lot that you can do with it probably a on a dive of 45 minutes if you get lucky at a shallow it can be a thousand points of data so we are good and we are just going to improve it so right now you, you saw that the dive time changed right now the temperature is just increasing because of my fingers stuck in there but well that's all for now I'm planning to take this thing on a dive on mid-September that's when I have my some dives scheduled to go to the Texas Flower Gardens on the MB Fling, which is a Libabor charger that it's 
it departs from Freeport, Texas. So we will see what it shows us and I will make another video whenever I get back from that trip. I may also be starting a Kickstarter project to make this design on a small PC board, PCB board and make it even smaller so we can put it inside a small case and use it forever. So okay guys, thank you for your time and your patience. Any other comments just let me know.